Hi, how you doing Capricorn? This is your um, weekly reading for the week of July 19th through 25th. I hope this reading resonates. I hope this reading helps you. Um, this is uh, anything you might be needing to know or anything important, I guess. What does Capricorn need to know? Mm, you have the Five of Swords. Nine of Swords and the King of Wands. Is there anything else a Capricorn needs to know? The Two of uh, Swords and the Sun. Uh, Capricorn, you're walking away from a situation, a situation that might have caused, you might have been staying in for a good time, you might have been uh, there for a moment. It's becoming a bit chaotic, it's becoming a bit conflicting, um, a bit disastrous, I want to say. It's becoming a bit of um, a struggle, I want to say, for some. But this seems like you were fighting some battles and you had to walk away. Or either way, the situation didn't turn out, uh, it turned out to be a bit of a, a fight. Or just if you want to stay or not and you chose to uh, live at the situation. Uh, you're walking away with a victory. And by you walking away, it's giving you a bit of a hard time with the Nine of Swords. It's giving you a time of, uh, did I do the right thing? Should I ha have stayed? Or is there anything left for me in there? However, I do feel like with the Nine of Wands, you're walking away to look beautiful on your own, to look amazing on your own, to uh, have this uh, charisma, to feel this glow of light from your own. You might have been in a situation where uh, you wanted a partner and uh, it didn't go well. You might have been in um, a situation where you feel like that was your place, like your castle to be in, and you had to walk away. Oh, some people were trying to cause a fight, some struggles, some uh, conflict. And you have to walk away. Either way, you could also be walking away from a habit, but you're walking away with your own truth. You know, you're not causing a fight or anything. It's just like I'm walking away. You know, I'm not doing drama. And uh, with the uh, nine of uh, swords, there's this energy of uh, feeling anxiety, feeling a bit of um, rest restlessness, feeling a bit of um. um Am I right? Am I wrong? You know, you're having those uh, up and up at night moments. You feel like you are, the bre you are at the breaking point. You don't know what to do or you don't know what direction to head in. With the King of Wands, you might be having um, a, a beautiful glow this week in terms of um, the way you walk, the way you talk, the way you uh, treat yourself, the way you... Um, go by uh, your duties or by your tasks or whatever you do. It's making you come on top. It's making you look really good. It's making you stick in your way. With the King of Wands, it's also somebody who stands in their beliefs, um, always willing to uh, walk with others, but they're not willing to change for others, you know. Um, they give others the time, the benefit of the doubt. However, they stick in their own ways, uh, glowing. Uh, with the two of swords, I feel like there's a, you're coming to a time where you have to face yourself. Um, with the eight of swords here, you might be in a situation in which you feel like you've been stuck in it for a good time. You've been stuck in the darkness. You've been um, a bit blindfolded. There was no way out. However, I do feel like there is a way out. You know, the universe is coming to take you out of your head. With the five of souls also here, I feel like by you walking away, it's going to open up uh, new gates. It's going to open up new realities. Um, if this is a situation that uh, uh, you've been having a hard time, if this is a connection you've been having a hard time in, you're having to face yourself or to face your partner, if this is your twin flame, or you're having to get to a level where you feel like, I have to close off my feelings. I don't want to let anybody in. I do not want to um, let myself easily uh Get, got to you know it feels like before you might have let your guard down and now it feels like okay now if this is a coming back situation if you're dealing with a person and they're coming back in your life because i get the sun card after that if this is somebody who's coming in your life there might be some bumping of heads there might be a bit of uh, closing off your feelings 
if uh, yeah, if this is a person who's coming towards you with the King of Wands, I get this energy of um, they see you looking good, they see you looking amazing, and now they want to be in your life again, or they want to. Um, uh, there's going to be some conflict. It might be somebody who's jealous, somebody who um, always wants to fight, or just somebody who wants to bump heads, but. You might also be the one who's having to face your dark side or just to face yourself. But with the sun card, it's some union taking place. Uh, it could be a union in a connection. It could be you coming to realization that you're happy or finding your happiness. Uh, if you feel like your person is being held back in the darkness or just your person is being holding back, with the sun card, there's going to be this chance of uh, coming together, this sense of uh, let's enjoy this happiness. Uh, whatever your happiness is, whatever happiness she's seeking, you are going to achieve that. However, you might be having to walk away from situations. With the, with the sun card also, there is um, a spreading of seeds. Uh, that's, be, that's because you are standing in your way, standing in your beliefs, you know, uh, doing what you meant to do, doing what you are being called to do. And uh, with the sun card, you're going to experience this... Um, release of energy somebody will want to partner up somebody will want to come together uh happiness will be in your life uh towards the ending of this week basically uh whatever you might be looking for you might be having to come to a decision where you are doubting yourself should i do this or should i do not however either way i see happiness in your life towards uh, the end of this week yeah